Hello friends, are you excited about this uh, cartoon face project? Well, I am very excited to share this project with you all. So, first of all, let me go through the process of creating a cartoon face. Yes, friend, there is a process. First, we will draw eyes. I mean, the procedure that I follow is, first, we will draw eyes then nose then mouth then the face and then hair okay so first of all let's create eyes and yeah uh, eyebrow is also there <laughs> okay so first of all let's select the ellipse tool for drawing eyes and we will draw circle and you know for drawing a circle just click at a point start dragging and while drawing make sure to hold the shift key to make it a perfect round shaped circle there you go i know it's pretty big but let's make it big for now make sure that the fill is white and it is having a stroke of black now using the selection tool select it hold the alt key and just drag it and now hold the alt key and the shift key now reduce its size just like this and move it here and let's make its color black and let's remove the stroke and while and uh, how we can remove the stroke so select the object this is for stroke this is for fill and this symbol this is the one this means none okay now again now this time i will show you another method of copy pasting one that i have shown you is select the object and alt drag so that's method one and method two select the object then go to edit press ctrl c to copy and again go to edit and here we have three options i mean few options click on paste in front and here you can see its keyboard shortcut it's ctrl f or command f ctrl f for pc and command f for mac users yeah so let's click on it now let's change it to color of white and again alt shift and reduce its size just like this now zoom in to work more efficiently make it even little small yup just like this and now it's an eye well let me resize the eyeball yeah just like this let me place this shining part here let's make it a little bit bigger yeah just like this yep now select everything that you have drawn here now hold the alt key and move it here so you are creating a copy of this eye only and this is another eye okay now select the brush tool to draw the nose make sure to select black as your stroke and well let's move this second eye a bit more to the right yep just like this again select the brush tool make sure black is your stroke and let's draw a nose like this yep just like this and 
now let's draw a smile yeah okay now we may change these later on but uh, but this is a simple structure now first of all let's select everything using the selection tool and let's reduce its size just like this okay now we will draw the face now how to draw the face see but it's just a simple brush stroke see you can draw different types of cartoon faces but what's the logic say for example draw like this provide a smile and see there you go and now you may think that uh, okay so this is the one part of a face and we will draw another side of the face just like this well it will never match right using uh, your mouse so there is a trick that we need to follow let's delete it well uh, yeah let me move it around here now this is the lip right and the mid of the lip is here so what we will do the first thing let's add an anchor point i know that we didn't cover the pen tool now but just follow what i am doing now let's select this add anchor point tool what we will do we will add an anchor point here just here and now select the direct selection tool and select the last point you can even zoom in to work more efficiently now just delete this anchor point and we have got this one well why is this one there let's delete it now so this is one side of the face right now what we will do let's select uh, the selection tool select this one and what we will do we will just uh, reflect this one using the reflect tool we can do that uh, but uh, since i did not cover this one uh, i will try another method or i will use both method in the same video only yeah i will do that you will learn only here so one thing is that that you already know that is hold the alt key and just drag it and now right click on the path transform reflect and click on okay now just move this one here there you go you can even move it using the arrow tool like this and don't worry about this one we will of course uh, correct this one but let me show you the second way using the reflect tool so select this one select the reflect tool which is this one now from where you want to reflect i mean uh, the point say for example we want it to reflect according to this point now you can reflect this one so let's double click see you have reflected this one but it's reflecting weirdly isn't it well there is a way to reflect so select the reflection tool i mean the reflect tool alt click on a point which you want to be the key point based on what your this path will get reflected we want our reflection point or reflect uh, key point to be this point so just alt and click and there you can see the preview and now just click on copy there you go 
you have reflected and copied this path okay now i was telling that uh, let's select this one and let's uh, move it say around here and here we can see some weird stuffs going on right well let's zoom in to work more efficiently even you can uh, skip this one for now but i am showing you everything each and every little stuff so what we will do let's select these two and we can see this is the joining point right so what we will do we will add a point here and it's got added here to this path but we want the same thing to be added for this one now let's add an anchor point not on the intersection let's say add an anchor point here and another anchor point say around here and now using the direct selection tool just delete these anchor points and using the selection tool let's delete these two also now again using the selection tool using the direct selection tool select these two paths yes friend now select the brush tool the paint brush tool make sure to start drawing from this ending point and see now you are drawing using the brush tool and you have just joined these two endpoints using brush tool so if you are not understanding what's going on you can ask me or you can watch this video again so let me press control z few more times okay so initially it was like this isn't it yeah initially it was like this and what we did is let me zoom in using the selection tool we have moved it say around here and what we did is that using the add anchor point tool say for example well let's zoom in a bit more let's select these two paths and using the anchor point add anchor point tool we have added an anchor point say around here and another say around here and again using the direct selection tool just select the intersection point and just delete it delete these two also and now again using the direct selection tool only select these two end points select the brush tool and start drawing from this end point and join to this end point using your brush tool yep there you go and if something is wrong you can always press control z to undo and you can join it there you go see so this is how you can draw a cartoon face 